carbon tip tweezers, no scratches. And here the paper clip. We already always call this the paper clip. <laughs> They're gone out. I like to disassemble this automatic winding module because the 7750 from Valjoux or ETA is layer upon layer upon layer. And now I like to disassemble just the automi automatic winding um, uh, module, which is on top. And then I'll take it out of the case and uh, release the power of the main barrel. And I like to do that while the, um, uh, the crown is still in place. And this is what happens if you don't uh, make sure that your screwdrivers are sharp. Then you go get stuff like this. Then again, we're watching under, under a microscope uh, and it is not visible or hardly visible uh, by the eye. And it's in the watch case, so um, not too much of an issue. You can see my screwdriver is slightly magnetic. And I just use, <laughs> use that now um, to make life easier, but everything has to be cleaned or the movement has to be uh, demagnetized anyway. But uh, so yeah, so here is the automatic winding module. And it looks like a bit of, I'm not sure if that's uh, old lubrication or rust. Oh wow, this very was even kind of sticky. And here, uh, with this one, uh, I promise you um, a mushroom uh, shaped pivot. <laughs> there we go. Oh wow. Oh, look at this. That is interesting. Plenty of oil, but in the wrong place. <laughs> Not as horrible as I thought it would be. You can see they are worn, but I thought it would be so much worse. Well, what do we see? Here is the huge hammer for resetting the chronograph. And um, a moment ago, you remember the, the very heavy um, spring I took off. It was there. And there you can see that the very heavy spring is pushing against the hammer here. And that is resetting the central second hand and the minute counter. This wheel and the uh, winding bit. But now I like to take out this one. And the vertical clutch for the uh, chronograph. But now essential is that I place back this one because otherwise this pivot and that pivot needs to be supported. Otherwise they just move, move about. Um, and when I want to uh, remove the hands in a moment, uh, I want them to be perfectly stable. So I took off the automatic winding. Now I can release the power of the main barrel. Just want to know for sure. And now I'm placing back this one to support those two pivots. And now you can see those two pivots are back in place. And now it's so much safer to uh, remove the hands and we used the crown a moment ago to release the power of the mainspring. So now I can 
remove the crown. Oh wow. Oops, als in. Oops. We'll have a look. One more try. Because movement is moving so freely. And uh, I know for sure that the ring isn't an integral part of the case. And the ring cannot be rotated because of the pusher here, you can see, that is sticking out. So this ring cannot rotate because you touch the pusher um, straight away. Well, I don't want to damage anything. And I really love to see this uh, rattrapante movement. So I suggest I'll take my time to uh, open it properly. Uh, the ring gives a bit, but I still think it's a front loader. Um, I promise, uh, because again, I don't want to get rushed uh, and in case I damage the movement, because this is going to be very special. Again, thank you so much for your attention. Very sorry I cannot continue like this, but uh, again, uh, no risk. And tomorrow we have a nice stream. Um, tomorrow, half past eight Central European time. Um, yeah. Again, thank you so much for watching. And uh, again, again, thank you so much. <laughs>